This took me a couple of days to get together. For no other reason than just my computer decided to stop working. I had to reformat my hard drive, whole bunch of things. Either way, here's my discussion with Adler Mannheim sporting director Jan Axel Alavara on Russian Ishkakov, what it means to sign him, what he expects from him, so on and so forth. I hope you enjoy. So how pleased are you that he is now within the fold? Like how, how happy are you that he signed for that one-year deal? Absolutely. Like uh, Ruslan is a top uh, top prospect, you know, a really skilled uh, young uh, player. Usually we don't get those kind of players to Germany. Okay, we were lucky having Tim Stützler from, from our own um, youth program. And um, what I think, like Ruslan, for example, he's looking at, he compares himself probably with Tim Stützler a little bit, like what's the best way to to become a regular NHL player. And then uh, he saw that Tim played played one year with Mannheim and uh, developed and uh, improved his game during that year. And uh, that's what I think uh, Ruslan is looking at as well before he takes a step over, step over to NHL. So how long were you guys essentially scouting him? It's just kind of like he his deal ended with TPS and he, and he pounced, or was it you were kind of waiting for that, hoping that you would have a chance to sign him? Uh, I, to be honest, I didn't think there was a big chance to get a player like him to us. And um, I'm following the Finnish league, of course. Uh, I didn't see him. I saw him a little bit this draft year because uh, I was I was scouting for Buffalo Sabres back in the days there. And uh, I didn't see him in the, during his year in the college. I didn't uh, follow him there. But uh, for sure from last season when I saw him in TPS Obo, when we, we were actually following other players during that season. And um, he, was, he, was, he was outstanding uh, offensively in those games. We were watching them. And, uh, and of course, really happy when a player like him at his caliber wants to come and play with us. So how well do you think he'll do at, at the German level? Um, cause a lot of people aren't familiar with it and they think like, oh, well it goes KHL, Sweden, Finland, Swiss league, German, but it's not really like that. The German league is actually pretty high in terms of its caliber, which, which is why Stussel went well, third overall to the Ottawa senators. Yeah, no, it's, uh, the German league is a little bit divided. You have the top teams, like you have top four or five teams. I would say they could play in any league, uh, in Europe, and then you have, uh, middle bunch of teams there are a bucket in the middle there are still okay teams and then you have a couple of teams in the end that's not so good uh, but for sure like the top teams the the top games in the, in the german league they're comparable to shl and even khl and uh, swiss league for sure yeah. we had uh, if you look at the munich for example a couple of years ago they were in the final champions hockey league and um, german teams have been doing well in the champions hockey league as well so. That's a good, and you see the national team now. They're they were even able to beat Canada in the World Championships. German hockey is for sure on the race, uh, on a race, and um, there will be. Especially you have two first rounders too with uh, with Stützle and uh, Sider from us, and then you have Paterka, Reichel. You know, there there's a lot of German guys. Dry side is doing pretty well uh, over there as well. So where, where do you think he might play? Do you have an idea where he might play for, for Mannheim in, next season? Do you think he'll be like top line, center, middle six type of thing? Um, how, how do you envision that? We have, uh, what we try to have is like three uh, top nine. Top nine, uh, so he will be in one of the top nine lines that plays a little bit more than the fourth line. Uh, he will play power play from the half wall, absolutely. Uh, we have two power play units, and if he's going to be in the... We don't really have the first and the second unit. We have two lines, and um, he will uh, he will lead one of those lines for sure. Perfect. That's that's good to see. So, what what do you hope to develop in him? Because you talked about the development of, of Stutzla. Uh, you, you brought up a few a cider as well, uh, and even uh, Leon Dreisaitl. You know, went through the system at a younger level, of course. Uh, Mannheim is known for its ability to develop players. What what do you think you can help Ruslan with specifically? Um, the daily work, I would say. We have um, we have a coach who's really detail oriented and uh, wants want the players to improve and uh, do everything as uh, to a perfection. Uh, our skills coach is working. Marcel Gotch, by the way, a former NHL player, 
he's working a lot with, with the players with the individual skills uh, and of course the strength conditioning coach it's a daily work basically like become a pro knowing what to do every day prepare yourself uh, to play an NHL in the end of the day yeah high expectations we have in Mannheim you like we are expected to win every game and, uh, to play and live under that pressure is for sure something you have to learn if you if you're going to take the st- step over to NHL. So maybe stepping away from Rusland, this, this will be my last one for you. I don't want to take too much of your time, and, and thank you for, for speaking with me. You you guys are in over. Group C of the CHL, and you'll play against Luko, which is the top team in, in the in TPS or sorry in Finland. Uh, what do you think of your yep. chances are in, in that group and advancing beyond just the group stage itself? Uh, I think we have a good chance. Like we have uh, when we play Lausanne, uh, uh, one of the top teams in Swiss League as well. I, and of course, it's like one game home, one game on the road. That, but we should be prepared. And uh, when we play on the level we're able to, I think we have a good chance to take the next step for sure. And I imagine Rusland will play a, an important uh, part in that as well. I hope so too. Absolutely, I think no. I I see him as one of our top uh, offensive guys, and uh, he will be he will be matched together with some uh, really skilled skilled guys as well. So uh, I would be very surprised if he's not able to put up pretty good numbers next. Week. That is good to hear. Okay, Jan, thank you very much for, for taking the time to speak to me. I, I don't want to take too much of your time here. So thank you very much. And we'll be in contact throughout the year, I'm sure. And I look forward to seeing him play for you guys and you guys doing well. Okay, no problem. That was fun talking to you too. And uh, stay in touch here. Yes, we will do. Thank you very much. Bye now.